To me, integrity means being honest with yourself. Um, I think the actual word integrity, the history behind it, it, it talks about being a whole person. And so um, having integrity means that, that um, you're honest with other people, but you do that for the sake of being honest with yourself, that you want to do what's right and know what's right. And at the end of the day, when you lay down and go to sleep, you know that you've done everything that you could to be fair, to be upright, to be honest, to be consistent, and to honor people. And uh, you know, I, I, when I think of integrity, it's kind of like, um, it reminds me of Job in the Bible. It, in a lot of places, he would say to his friends about he had integrity with God. And so integrity is maybe even not just being honest with yourself, but being honest with God. Because there's things that God knows about us that nobody else knows. And when we live in such a way that we know we have a clean slate with God and that our work habits and our um, behavior towards other people and our words and our thoughts have been acceptable before God, then that's when we have real integrity. Integrity means being a, a trustworthy person, um, a dependable person, someone who um, holds a standard that is um, incorruptible. When you say you're going to be a certain person, then you are that person at all times. It doesn't matter who you're around or what circumstance you're in. And that's what integrity is to me. I believe integrity means um, applying what you've been taught to your personal daily life. Um, just grabbing from sources, maybe personal people that pour into you the Word of God. Um, observing other people's lives and choosing um, you know, I want my life to look like that or I don't want my life to look like this. Integrity to me is everything. If you don't have integrity, you got nothing going for you. It's wrapped up like honesty, um, being humble, being able to say I was wrong, I made a mistake, you know, just being, doing the right thing. Integrity is uh, what a person does with their life, whether somebody's watching them or not. Um, it's really what, you, what is going on in their heart. How are they going to live before God and before other people? Are they going to choose to do what's right or are they just going to choose to do whatever they want to do? And um, the Bible says that integrity is a rear guard, which means it covers your back. If you do what's right, then you're protected from a lot of things. Nobody can blame you for doing something wrong. Nobody can point a finger at you because you've been doing what's right all along. So integrity is a great thing. It's a protection. It's a covering. It's, it's there for your own benefit, really. Well, integrity means, to me, I just think about what the word means vocabulary-wise, and it means the same through and through. And so integrity is important because it's a part of your, it's your character. If your character is the same through and through, that means your actions are gonna be the same. And so if we have integrity the way that the Bible asks us to, we're gonna love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength all the time. Our actions are gonna reflect it in every different situation that comes up. And um, just no matter who we're talking to or no matter who we're um, talking about or what we're doing, whether somebody's with us or whether we're by ourselves, we're gonna be true to who we are. And so hopefully if we have integrity in Christ, then we'll be true to the Word of God and we'll live that way all the time. Integrity to me is best defined by coach John Wooden when he said that your character is who you are when no one else is watching. That's what I think of when I think of integrity. It's who are you when no one else is around, only God can see you, that's your integrity. <sighs> integrity me, to me means uh, doing things in a righteous manner. Um, 
being faithful and honest at all times, um, holding a standard and not wavering on it. Um, to have integrity is to admit when you're doing something wrong and to tell the truth when you have been confronted about it.